I'm talking about corporate credit. Basically, what we do is get corporate credit after we have a personal build on a file and a person is ready for corporate credit because biggest problem with all the other uh, so-called competitors out there is that they sell these corporations that just happen to be stolen and what I mean by stolen is they just pay up the back fees on them per an ebook that all these smart individuals are doing and they've been doing it for years so they get them super cheap and they sell them to the public super cheap and everybody in this <laughs> industry thinks they're getting a great deal and then also they tell them the myth that you can get funding on uh, no PG corporation like a funding that isn't based off your personal guarantee isn't based off your credit and they'll charge you tons of money for fake trade lines that never show up and and or they show up and they're so crappy they don't even work and you're under the assumption that this giant unicorn that craps gold eggs and flies around in a pink leotard is going to get you thousands of millions of dollars because they told you you can get corporate credit with bad credit so half the internet or half the people in the country go out and buy these corporations realize they can't get any funding and have bad credit and then when someone like me tells them you gotta have credit repair they get pissed off and hang up so okay the point is it's retarded you're buying a corporation that's stolen it doesn't work I mean it, if it does work you got fake trade lines and you're only gonna get a um, some chump change credit card if you're even lucky which I have yet to see any of those even getting any money but I don't know um, it's like a fake Ferrari it just it's retarded the problem is um, people need to educate themselves and find out what the what's real and what's not real so we're here for the sophisticated intelligent business-minded individual that wants to get money and has maybe had a setback once or twice in their life but had money before and they want to get more money normally that's what we want and if you have a business and you want to expand it and grow and you're very ambitious uh, we can get you the money to do it so as far as corporate credit goes our corporations are different on the fact that they are not stolen and they've never been used before that alone will allow us to build on it millions of dollars and you don't have to worry about the original owner coming back and you have to get sued over it or other kinds of trouble which happens as happened in the past because you're dealing with different states and things like that so we make sure our corporations are never used before they're clean and um, no background history on them I know competitors advertise oh they do a background report and all this stuff on the previous owners well you don't want a corporation that has had a previous owner because then you won't need a background report that's just gonna come up to you okay so now that we got all that out of the way let's get to the real good stuff the funding there's five levels of funding okay it's really important that you get your personal credit set up and that we do it right so we can get you funding on your personal maybe three or four rounds because you want to have larger accounts older accounts and low debt to income ratio like 20 percent like zero inquiries and a hardcore file and it has to be laid out the right manner so then we mix that with the corporation that we've gotten you and we put it in the right industry and the corporation is going to be um, a good industry and we're going to build it and mix it with uh, the industry that fits your business so it's going to become what you're going to build your foundation for your success on so the, the next level after your personal funding is the corporate funding and the five levels are basically you have a stated income with no credit build no trade lines you have a stated income with trade lines you have a light documentation with credit build on it you have a full documentation meaning tax returns bank statements 
and a full build. And then your final level of funding is the build out on a real corporation, tax returns, bank statements, and assets. So this highest level is where you're talking 100 million plus funding. I know all these other competitors haven't even barely got like any funding because you don't see any proof of any funding around whatsoever with their websites. All you'll see is like buy these trade lines at these prices, take your money and run and disappear and then they start over with the new website. So depending on where we are with you, we're going to start out with one of the five levels. Ideally, if, if, if you're, you're on a budget and you want to start out small we can start out with no build on it but I'm going to show you what the difference of funding is between a no build and a real build it's kind of like the capital one where you get 300 bucks versus you could have got 50,000 so a no build we can get stated income business credit cards and that could be anywhere from like two to eight hundred thousand depends on how old you are how old your accounts are how big they are and the type of accounts the best we've ever gotten is 800,000, and that's a house, big cars, large credit cards, and that guy had a killer profile. The lowest is 200,000. The guy didn't have a house. Credit was average. Okay, so if we've gotten you funding, you want to go for the next level, which is where we normally like to start people at, is a full build out on the corporation. That is trade lines that are primary trade lines based off of our other corporations and other employees or other uh, clients that we've had that have corporations and we're kind of mix them together onto your corporation making it a primary aged trade line now competition can sell you authorized user business trade lines but they're so weak and it's not really going to give you a whole build out and allow you to get maximum funding or get a lot of money so our trade lines our build outs are a little more than normal but we don't take cash up front for that we only do it after we've got a person at least two or three hundred thousand then we put you in something that works and do the full build out but you can't call us up and say hey I want to send you like how many thousand dollars and buy your build out and buy your program and get in your corporate credit because um, so many scammers do that and I mean we'll sell you a blank corporation at a normal price if you want to do like you know get started with like the 411 the website the bylaws the articles and registered agent all that kind of stuff the normal stuff on a clean corporation that's never been used because you want to do do that for tax purposes or building your business on that and then set up for funding when we can and the right time to do it we'll do that but normally you can't do a full build out until we've gotten you a lot of money you trust us you know we're real and that we're not going to screw you so the full build out okay once it's built out we have several different options of paths we're going to match what's best for you what state you're in and what industry you're going on because not all the business bureaus are the best bureaus everybody knows about Dun & Bradstreet of course that's the most popular one but it is not the most fundable bureau for businesses but everybody knows about Dun & Bradstreet we don't even build out Dun & Bradstreet normally we'll do like depends I mean we can do uh, standard we'll start out with like Experian build out anywhere from one to five hundred thousand depending on where you want to go with it uh, or we could go with Equifax we have um, several other trade lines that also go on like credit net and pay net there are two other bureaus that are really good that allows us to get some quick funding um, and we're talking business loans not business credit cards and business lines of credit so the first round we're gonna get two to four hundred thousand in loans depending on other factors we may go with some other bureaus but just so you know there is like nine business bureaus and ten technically if you count check systems early warning systems uh, is related to business because they monitor all your business activity and things like that if you have a business bank account that went bad there's lenders we can go around that but that is that is a that is an issue that we can fix but 
doesn't have to be fixed. So the other other ones are one called a uh, client checker. It's not bad. A current business. Another one's new is FD Insight. And then you got the just standard PayNet, CreditNet, Equifax, Experian, IntelScore, and Novus. That's about all your bureaus right there. We're going to start out with Equifax and Experian, get the funding, see how you handle things. If you can handle things, you can manage your payments. We can literally fund on all the bureaus at the same time. It's just we have to have a qualified client that's not going to default because once you get to this level and you default, bad things happen. So the normal model that we use that's for standard funding is two to four hundred thousand corporate credit loans every three months. We'll do that for four months. So you're talking maybe three months. We get a million dollars plus in business loans. Once we're at that level, we transition to getting you a your first million dollar credit line. At that point, what we do with the corporation is we're going to departmentalize it. We're going to structure it into like segments. For, for, for starters, we're going to do separate out to 10 departments. Each one of those departments is going to go into your corporation. Those sub-departments of the corporations or like sub-corporations allows us to expand your $1 million into $10 million. You're going to take the $1 million credit line and the loans that we've gotten you over $1 million for the next 12 months and you're going to pay on those consecutively and pay them down and work your business credit at this point. For that 12-month period, that $1 million then becomes $10 million because you come you can get approved for $1 million for each of the 10 sub-corporations. That's $10 million. After you have six months payments on that to 12 months payments on that, each of those $10 million becomes $100 million. That's literally a billion dollar company. Now, the most we've ever gotten on an unsecured type of business debt financing on a corporation is $340 million. But to get uh, $1 million lines of credit, that you're only talking like about a year, year out. Getting the $10 million line of credit, you're talking uh, maybe 18 to 24 months out total. And then you want to get uh, between 10 to the $100 million range, you're looking at another 12 months. If you want to go past $100 million, maybe more. Depends. Once you have your corporation set up and you've already gotten the 100 million or the 10 million you can change it if you want to go to a publicly traded company um, you'll have to we'll have to structure it to where you have uh, minimum 25 shareholders management team the attorney and we would get get you set up with an investment bank depending on which bank we want to go with that matches your profile it could be anywhere from like Goldman Sachs, Citibank, JP Morgan, um, one of the big firms, Solomon Brothers, uh, just depends. You write up a public offering, you file your Form 10 S1 and your Form D with the SEC. You're going to write up what your structure is, how you're going to do it. You're going to do a filing 15C211. You're going to pre present your red herring prospectus to different investors that are institutional investors, different banks. You're going to give them a certain price on your shares. They're going to say if they like it or not. If they like it, they're going to give you X amount of dollars. Then you're going to file all this stuff with the SEC and how much money you're going to allow it to go public for. Each of the shares for the public and how much you're going to pay the insiders that have already put the money in out. And you're going to have to have the right accounting firm, the right law firm, and the right analyst to set up and structure your corporation to where all of your margins and all your things are transparent and everything is working and operating perfectly. Now that's the IPO private sector route. I mean public sector route if you want to go that way. If you want to go private, 
which we normally do. We'll take the 10 million and usually even at a million, start jumping into uh, corporate real estate and getting projects 20 million above. That's what we normally do all the time. On those, we can use those assets to get loans anywhere from like 20 million plus after you've done that for a year. The largest on that type of loan, we've gotten like 340 million. Um, you can get into bigger stuff, private going to private equity, which is you're giving up 60% of the ownership and retain 40%, and that's where you can get into the super big money. I'm going to show you a couple examples of uh, what I'm talking about. There's five million right there. That's just a corporation divided into like five sub departments where the million dollars were, were approved in five places, and we take the money and cash it out in order to get, well, that was an apartment. But um, it depends on how you set it up. Here's a transition from a normal corporation, which was about where we had a couple million dollars already. And this is where we got a loan of 480000 plus a line of credit for $3.6 million. This is just a standard deposit from a corporate loan. There's already $4.5 million from previous funding. This is another one on uh, basic corporate credit funding. These are the build up to the 10 million mark. This one's a profile of a $10 million profile that we have on one of our corporations not, that we've done for one of our clients. This one was a $340 million loan, which was an asset based loan off a corporation that we did here in Chicago basic standard stuff um, corporate credit corporations like I was talking about earlier just uh, come with the 411 the website the registered agent the bylaws the articles and your setup that's just standard and that this is the, the full build out depending on what your budget is and where you are in your business is depending on how much we're going to build it out for but we'll do that after and we'll go over all the prices on that after we've already got your funding so that pretty much explains our corporate credit